we can now start leveraging OpenAI's most advanced model O1 in our Zapier workflows. So in today's video, let me show you the exact use cases we'll use this new model of Zapier. So by the end of this video, you have a clear idea of which model to use depending on your use case. Sound good, let's jump in. Welcome back y'all, my name is Corbin Brown and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the OpenAI O1 model. If you don't know what this is, this is one of the most advanced models found within the industry right now. But due to the fact that this model is so advanced, there is very specific context we will use this model within a Zapier automation. The answers from this model tend to be more lengthy and more depth. Therefore, let's find out how we would use this. To showcase how we're gonna use this model, we're gonna be looking at an annual PNL sheet here. While leveraging GBT-01, we're gonna be able to analyze this entire thing and you're gonna see the response here is quite lengthy. Let's go ahead and get started. Come up here to create, zap. Right now I have this example PNL sheet within my Google Drive. Let's first go ahead and rename this zap. We're gonna rename it 01 Analyze Data. Analyze Data. With this zap created here, let's start the trigger of basically when we add a file to a Google Drive folder. Therefore, you can apply this workflow to anything, any type of file that you provide. In this video, you're gonna learn how to extract data from a Google Sheet and analyze it. We're gonna type in Google Drive. With Google Drive selected here, we're gonna do the event of new file and folder. We're gonna select our account, hit continue. Then go ahead and select the relevant folder that you'll drag your data to. So for me, it's gonna be test data. With test data selected, which is my folder name here, I hit continue and then test this trigger. This trigger test is gonna pull the relevant file that I currently have within this folder, which is this. So from here, I'm gonna hit continue with selected record. Now that we know where to get our data and find our file, we need to extract that data. In order to do so, we're gonna do Google Sheet, select. With Google Sheet selected here, we're gonna do an event of get many spreadsheet rows. Click, choose your account. Now when it comes to the spreadsheet we choose here, choose custom. This will make sure that the spreadsheet we choose comes from that new file and folder action. Hit that little plus, and then we're gonna scroll down here and your relevant ID that we're gonna put in here is we're gonna scroll down here, it's gonna be ID right here. Click, this is gonna reference our specific spreadsheet that we added to the Google Drive folder. Worksheet will be the worksheet we wanna analyze. So for me, it's gonna be sample. The columns is gonna be the columns that we grab. So it's gonna be A through Z. And then the row count, since we are dealing with a spreadsheet here, if I scroll all the way down, it's around 45, I'm gonna just say 100. So I'll put in 100 here, keep everything else as default, continue, test step. So it's gonna extract all the data found within that Google Sheet as seen here. With that data extracted here, we can go ahead and make a chat GPT block. Chat GPT. We're gonna do the action of conversation. We're gonna select our account with the user message or in this context, the prompt that we're gonna use here. We're gonna say based on this annual profit and loss statement, and then I'm gonna do semicolon and provide the data, but then in parentheses here, we're gonna go ahead and hit this plus. With this plus here, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna select rows. It's gonna be all the data found within that Excel sheet. Click it. We will then ask for it to give analysis on specific variables that we care about. So due to the fact that we're dealing with a PNL here, I can say generate analysis on the best year and worst year. So what I'm gonna do in this case though, just to show you the full length of these outputs, I'm gonna say, in addition, give more analysis relevant here. I'm gonna continue here, test this step, and then we should get an output here that is pretty lengthy and really shows you the power of the O1 preview. And here we go. Now, first thing I want you to notice is that based off the data we provided here, which was in our parentheses, notice how like unstructured it is, like to our eyes, we're like, what's going on? But don't worry, artificial intelligence is able to look at all that and actually contextualize it and be able to do analysis on it. And this is the relevant analysis we got. Look how long this gets of 01. I mean, from every single past model we've gotten to this point, it never gets this detailed. It's still going. So this just shows you the real powers of O1 and where it's going with artificial intelligence and especially in the context of automation. So let me show you how to extract this and place this into a Google Doc. So in theory, we can send that output anywhere, but for example here, let's just send it to a Google Doc. So we'll choose Google Doc. We're gonna do an action event of create document from text. Hit continue. For this name, we're gonna say in-depth O1. This is gonna be the actual document name that's generated here. We'll get the document content. Hit this plus is gonna be the reply from ChatGBT here. So come down here to reply, reply. And then from here, we can choose our relevant folder. So I'll go ahead and send this back into my test data folder here. I'm gonna continue and test this step. And guess what? This automation is in the description down below. So you can try it yourself, check it out, see if you like it, boom. There we go. We got the entire chat GBT output pushed to a Google doc that we can reference, extract, and do more work on. This is just one small use case that you could leverage O1 Preview in. I want you to use O1 Preview and I want you to think of it as like, this is like the best model we've gotten when it comes to extremely long outputs. How else can this be used? I think another fun example here is creating video scripts for AI video software, such as Cynthia. 
leveraging Zapier, Cynthia, and O1, we could create an entire video that is automatically done through artificial intelligence and have an in-depth script about it. Therefore, use O1 Preview for long copy, long writing. Use the other models in the context of shorter copy, e.g. a small email. That just about does it. This Zapier automation is in the description down below. Make sure to like, it's completely free. Make sure to subscribe as we do more automations and showing you how to leverage artificial intelligence within your workflows. Does that sound good? I'll see you in the next video.